Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tickle here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and doing the Boeing B-29 Super Fortress. The Boeing B-29 Super Fortress is an American 4-engine propeller driven heavy bomber designed by Boeing and flown primarily by the United States during World War II and the Korean War. Named in allusion to its predecessor, the B-17 Flying Fortress, the Super Fortress was designed for high-altitude strategic bombing, but also excelled in low-altitude night incendiary bombing and in dropping naval mines to blockade Japan. B-29s were also dropped the atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and became the only aircraft that has ever used nuclear weapons in combat. One of the largest aircraft of World War II, the B-29 had state-of-the-art technology, including a pressurized cabin, dual-wielded tricycle landing gear, and an analog computer controlled fire control system which allowed one gunner and a fire control officer to direct four remote machine gun turrets. The $3 billion cost of design and production, uh, far exceeding the $1.9 billion cost of the Manhattan Project, made the B-29 program the most expensive of the war. The B-29's advanced design also allowed it to remain in service in various roles throughout the 1950s. The type was retired in the early 1960s after 3,970 of them had been built. So. Yeah, the B-29 Super Fortress here, one of the most iconic uh, bombers in history, I would say. Uh, again, as I mentioned, it's the only aircraft in combat to actually drop a nuclear weapon, which is just kind of insane to think about. Um, you know, it's it's pretty cool. It's just a historic aircraft and uh, just a really, really, really awesome one. And what's cool about it is that there are, I think, two that are currently restored enough to the point where they are actually still flyable. So that's also really cool that this airframe, you know, is flying um, almost like 80 years later. So really cool stuff and overall a just beautiful aircraft. Um, so this is a redesign, as I mentioned, we had a design for it quite some time ago. So this is basically completely uh, redesigned from the ground up, shaping wise, block usage, everything like that. Um, it looks so much better <laughs> to say the very least um but yeah let's go ahead and kind of dive into taking a look here at this aircraft and see exactly where we'll be going ahead and building so starting off with uh we have this one right here in its iconic uh really kind of chrome uh type color like i guess like bright um you know metal uh basically color scheme and that's what we have going on here uh for it as you can see polished dance it's really the closest we have to that kind of nice shiny metallic color and that's kind of what we're rocking with here for that. Um, you can see here we have obviously the front landing gear uh, for the landed version. The I, you know front nose here, pretty straightforward stuff. Um, this one here is based off of Fifi, so Fifi is one of the last B29 uh, Super Fortress that's actually still in flying condition. So I uh, decided it'd be nice to kind of, you know, give a little pay a little homage to that. Um, you know, we have the remote controlled guns up on top here. The different instruments, all that stuff along the top. Um, also on the bottom here, there are the turrets as well. So you have a turret on the bottom here in the front, and then there's also a turret located here on the rear. Um, so just like the uh, front turret there. Uh, we have the propeller engines here on both sides. So again, real straightforward design, nothing too complicated with those. And as we move back to the tail here, we have the, um, you know, kind of marking here on the tail, the uh, windows on the side there, and uh, the tail, and also this version here is based off the World War II version, so it does have a tail gunner um, as well, uh, which was later got rid of when it entered into the Cold War type period. Um, anyways, that's pretty much the aircraft. Uh, looks really nice. Again, going to make an awesome addition to any of your late World War II scenarios, and even uh, into some early Cold War type conflicts. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and moving into layer number 2. Now we're starting with layer 2, gives us a little bit of a better basis to build off of compared to layer 1. And um, just overall, it was just a simple layer to go ahead and get us started. Um, one thing I do want to mention is, if you are completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials is that I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is we're rebuilding the center line of every layer, and then we're going to be going ahead and copying the right side that we do on camera and then it'll be up to you guys to copy that over to the left side. So it'll make a little bit more sense as we get through, through the first few layers, but it's really straightforward and pretty simple. Um, also if you do want to build the landed version, we will be adding the landing gear on at the end as a modification to the aircraft. So to just begin with, we'll be building it as if it's in flight. So you do need to make sure that you build this correct height off the ground. 
Now, if you do want to build just the in-flight version, then completely disregard this part as it's not important. Just know that this is basically one of the lower points of the aircraft, so make sure you have enough ground clearance. Um, if you want to build this landed, then you want to make sure that you start this layer here. You can see we have our top slabs here and basically this bottom here portion of the fuselage that we're going to be starting this layer. You want to make sure that this is four blocks up from the ground. So I would recommend placing a marker of one, two, three, four blocks up, and then we're going to go ahead and go back from it with a top slab. Now, again, if you're in the air, doesn't really matter. You're just going to place down your brick top slab and get started. But again, if you want to build this landed, you need to make sure that this is four blocks up from the surface. So again, going down from these slabs here, we have three and a half blocks of space. Very important, again, if you don't build it the correct time off the ground, it's not gonna sit properly when we go back to it at the end. Anyways, let's go and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna place down a row of three brick top slabs, followed by a polished anesthetic top slab. You can also use stone for the fuselage if you'd rather use that. Um, it just doesn't have as kind of more metallic color as polished anesthetic does. Um, but again, it's up to you guys on what you wanna use. So after that polished anesthetic top slab, we're going to place down a row of three polished anesthetic blocks, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Polished anesthetic top slabs back. And I go ahead and double check my count here. Yep, it's 19 polished anesthetic top slabs back from that polished anesthetic full block. We then want to place down two iron trap doors back. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a place where a block that kind of goes over this space like so. And we're going to go ahead and go back from this block. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to go ahead and place down an end rod coming down from the second block from the iron trap doors. Then on the fourth block. And then one, two, three, four. Uh, first we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on our eighth block here, we're going to place down an end rod that drops down as well. So just like that here on the back, then we can go and delete these blocks on the top here like so. Going ahead and working our way out to the sides, we're gonna go ahead and start off by going to this first brick top slab, we're gonna place down an iron trap door like so, followed by a second iron trap door back, and then a andesite wall like so. After the andesite wall, we're gonna place down a polished andesite full block, a polished andesite upside down stair, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 polished andesite top slabs back. We then want to go ahead and go to the one, two, three, four, five, the fifth polished anesthetic top slab back. We're we'll going to place down an iron trap door to the side, and then one, two, three, four, five back to give you a total of six along the side there, like so. After that's done, we're going to go to the second polished anesthetic top slab. So after this upside down stair, this second slab here, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks out to the side. Same thing over here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to then place down a polished dance a top slab, followed by four back. One, two, three, and four. So that's going to be a row of five there. And we can go ahead and then delete these place order blocks as we do not need them anymore. And that right there is going to basically finish off what we have there for layer number two for the build. Here's a bit of an overview of what it should look like. You're going to go and take what we do on the right side, flip over to the left side, and you'll pretty much have this layer complete. Anyways, that right there again is it for layer number two. And with that, let's move down to layer number one. Alright guys, moving into layer 1. Layer 1 is a super simple layer. All we're going to do is go ahead and go to the bottom here of our turret up here. We're going to place down a polished anesthetic block on the middle block, like so. And then iron trap doors coming on off of all four sides here of the slab, like so. We then want to go ahead and go to this iron trap door. Coming off of it, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate and open it up toward the trap door, like so. And then we want to place down a dark oak sign to both sides of the fence gate, like so, to go ahead and make the guns, like so. And that there is it for layer number 1. Again, super simple layer, probably the easiest layer we're going to be encountering today. Anyways, that's it for layer one. Let's move on to layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer. We go ahead and move it into layer number two, layer number three, sorry. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a polished anesthetic block. That's going to go ahead and go on top of this brick top slab. Going forward from the polished anesthetic block, we're going to go ahead and place down two red concrete blocks, followed by a near polished anesthetic top slab and a polished anesthetic I'm um, sorry, polished anesthetic full block and then a top slab coming off that full block like so. So looking at from the side here, it should look like this here for the front. Now after that's done, going back from our red concrete where we have this polished anesthetic block placed. We have, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32 polished anesthetic blocks back. Let me go ahead and double check my count here to make sure it's correct. And yep, 32 blocks going back from this red concrete block of polished anesthetic like so. 
At the end of that row, we're going to place down a polished downside up sound stair, followed by one, two, three polished downside top slabs, a air polished downside up sound stair, which should be on top of this end rod here. And then we're going to place down a polished downside top slab coming off the back of the stair. We then want to place down two blocks that go up from the polished downside top slab, so go across like this, kind of like what we did for those end rods there for layer number two. We're going to place down an end rod coming down from the first block, and then a iron bar coming down from the second block, and then we can delete these blocks on top. Coming off the iron iron bar there, we're going to place down an iron trap door, followed by a polished and set upside down stair, polished and set full block, and there a polished and set upside down stair, and then a uh, dark oak wood fence gate coming off this stair. Now on both sides of the fence gate, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign, like so. On these two stairs here to the sides, on both sides again, we're going to place down a skeleton skull, and then we want to place down an andesite wall, again on both sides of that polished and set block. Once that's done, going ahead and going back up to the front, we're going to go and start working our way out to the sides. So for this, we're going to start off by placing down a polished downside top slab, come off this full block, a polished downside upside down stair like so, and then come off this stair, we're going to place down another upside down stair, so this stair turns on a corner stair, and then you have a regular stair right after it. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Uh, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 polished and set blocks back. So again, I'm going to go and double check my count here. And yep, 28 polished and set blocks back from that stair up there. Once we get to this point here, we're going to take our polished and set stairs. We're going to run a row of three of upside down stairs across like so. And then we want to row, run a row of one, two, three, four, five polished and set top slabs back. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and work our way out to the side here again. So for this row here, we want to go and place down an iron trap door, come off this second polished and set full block. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of two of top slabs back from it, so one, two. And we're going to go and then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five uh, polished and set upside down stairs. So five stairs back, and then an upside down corner stair, like so. We want to go and then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight polished and set blocks back and we're going to go and then place down a polished and set upside down stair like this a stair coming off it so this is a corner stair a regular upside down stair and then we want to go and then place down another upside down corner stair coming off that stair like so and then a polished and set top so I have to go and finish that off with uh, that done going ahead and moving to the sides here we're going to go ahead and start to get into our kind of wing roots here a little bit so for this we're going to place down a polished and set top slab come off this block like so a polished and set upside down stair one, two, three, polished and set full blocks, a polished and set upside down stair, and a top slab, followed by a smooth stone top slab like so. After we have that done, we're going to take our top slabs, and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven top slabs across, and then a smooth stone slab. And then we want to go and place down again a row of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a smooth stone slab there on the end, like so. We want to go and then place down a iron trap door, come off the front slab here and then we're going to place down one two three four five six uh, top slabs back we're going to go to the side here again place down our row of six like so and we want to go and then go to the middle four blocks we're going to place down row four in the middle between come off the middle four blocks like that now once we get to this point here uh, we're going to go and start to get into basically the engines here so coming off of these uh, first two top slabs here. We're going to place down two upside down polished and side stairs like so and then one and two polished and side top slabs back like that. Going toward the front we're going to take our polished and side and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five uh, polished and side, or sorry my bad, four polished and side blocks forward. We're going to go and then place down a row of two of polished and side upside down stairs. Now go ahead and go in, off the stair here. We're going to place down a polished and side slab like so. And then we're going to go and take our black concrete, and we're going to place it on a black concrete block going back from that slab. We then want to go ahead and take our polished and full blocks, and we are going to be going ahead and placing down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven polished and full blocks back. And then we want to go and do a row of one, two, three, and four polished and top slabs. Going out to the side here again, we're going to do the same thing we did on the inner side. So two polished and set up sound stairs, a row of one, two, three, four full blocks, and then one, two polished and set top slabs, and one and two 
uh, polish and anti-top slabs. Sorry, these are two upside down stairs and then two top slabs like that. Um, once we have that done, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull. And we're going to place that wither skeleton skull on both sides of this polished and anti block, like so. So again, to both sides there. Now, once we have that finished, we're going to be going ahead and building out to the side here. And we're going to go and basically have the start there for engine two, or basically our outer engines. Um, so for this, we want to go ahead and go to our first polished anti block here. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine blocks out to the side there, like so. Now we're going to go and go over here and do the same thing. So again, this polished anti block one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to, go to place down a top slab like so, followed by a second, third, and fourth, and then a iron trap door on the end there. And that's going to basically do it for that. So again, a space of nine. Come off this block over to the outside there. And let me just double check our count over here as well to make sure I didn't mess up anywhere. And yep, that's nine as well. And uh, we're also going to have two iron trap doors going back. So just make sure it's two there and not just the one. And once you have that done, you're going to take the same design, flip it over to the left side. And looking at from above here, we should have something that looks like this here for uh, layer number uh, three. As you can see, starting to get a little bit of shape going on here. And uh, we're starting to see a little bit more of an aircraft type uh, of design. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. Now, layer four here, um, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to the front nose of the aircraft. We're going to place down a light gray stainless block on top of this polished anti top slab. Coming off that, we're going to place down a light gray stainless paint. And then we want to go ahead and go back from this block. And now right here, you can kind of choose. So you can see I have this area hollowed out here. This is perfect for if you do want to do an interior for the aircraft. My tutorial is not going to include the interior. So we're going to go ahead and basically disregard it. Uh, but again, if you do want to build the interior, you do have that option available to you to leave open. However, if you are not, I do recommend you close the basically outside um, up from being visible. So by the, this, I went ahead and went from our light gray stainless on this block, and I went ahead and placed in a row of one, two, three, four, five black concrete blocks just to close that space off. Um, again, not completely necessary, but I just wanted to go ahead and cover that anyway. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then go to the rear of the aircraft, and we're going to go on top of this end rod right here. We're going to place down a polished anti block, followed by one, two, three, four, and five polished anti blocks back. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five, and six polished anti top slabs, and then three iron trap doors like that to go ahead and finish off our center line there for the aircraft. With that finished, we're going to start working our way out to the sides. So to begin with, on the front here, we're going to place down a polished anti block next to this light gray stainless block, and then a Wither skeleton so we'll come off the side of it. We want to go and then go back from the block, one and two blocks, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three black concrete blocks. We then want to take our andesite walls, we're going to go and place down two andesite walls, come off these two blocks like so, and we're going to go and then take our polished andesite stairs, we're going to place down an upside down stair like this, and an upside down corner stair come off it like so. We then want to take our andesite stairs, or sorry, full blocks, and we're going to go and go back for a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, um, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29 polished andesite blocks back. And I'll go ahead and double check my count here just to make sure I didn't mess up at all. And yep, 29 polished andesite blocks back from that stair. Now once we get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and also take over their skeleton skull and place it down on the side of this last polished anisite block. And we're going to go and then take our polished anisite stairs and we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three. We then want to place down a smooth quartz corner stair, coming off that stair like so. A blue concrete block, uh, coming off this stair here, and then we're going to place down another quartz stair, which is going to be facing that direction there. And then coming off that stair, we're going to place down a polished anisite stair like so, so this turns into a corner stair like that. We then want to go and go to the space behind the quartz stairs and the blue concrete, and we're just going to go and place down a row of three of blocks to kind of close that space off. So that's kind of the start there for our kind of national star insignia, which is on the side of the aircraft. With that complete, we want to go and then go uh, from this blue concrete block, and we're going to take our polished andesite, and we want to place down a row of one, two, three polished andesite blocks back. We're going to go and then switch to our uh, polished andesite stairs. We're going to place down a row of three of polished andesite stairs. Uh, we're going to go and then place down a polished anisite full block, and then one, two, three, four polished anisite top slabs, and then two iron trap doors like that to go and finish that off. And that right there is going to basically finish our fuselage here for this layer. With uh, that all complete, we're going to go and start moving into the wings here. 
and uh, the wings, this is where everything starts to get fun and tricky. So for our wings here to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and go into the side here. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 polished NSA blocks back. So basically, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to this 10th polished NSA block and replace down one of the sides. So it should be kind of one before the slabs or uh, from the previous layer. So um, be positioned right there. And again, this is our 10th block back. And we're going to build one out to the side. We then want to go ahead and take our polished inside blocks. We're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 blocks back. And we want to go ahead and then place down a smooth stone block, followed by two smooth stone slabs back, like so. Our next row here, we're going to go ahead and place down a inside wall coming off this block. And we're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 polished inside blocks back, a smooth stone slab full block, and then two smooth stone slabs. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go and place down an uh, inside wall here to the side again, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven polished inside blocks, two smooth stone full blocks, and then a smooth stone slab like that on the end there. Once uh, that's done there, for our next row, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished inside top slab coming off the side of this block, like so, and we want to go ahead and then go back from that top slab with a black concrete block to kind of create a little bit of a vent right there. And then going back from it, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five polished inside blocks, two smooth stone full blocks, and then a smooth stone slab there on the end. Uh, again, going up to the front here, we're going to place down a polished inside slab coming off this top slab like so. And we want to go ahead and then go back one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have a row of seven here, uh, two smooth stone full blocks, and then a smooth stone top slab. Our next row here. A polished inside uh, full block. Or sorry, my bad. Actually, a polished inside top slab. And then we're going to go ahead and go back to top slab. Or back from the top slab. One, two, three, four, five, six polished inside blocks. And then two smooth stone full blocks. And then a smooth stone top slab there on the end. Now, once we get to this point uh, right here, what we want to do is we're gonna go and go to the front of our engine here and we're gonna place down a polished dance like block on top of the stair. We're gonna then place down a black concrete block and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine polished dance like blocks back. We're gonna go and then place down a row of one, two, smooth stone full blocks, and then a smooth stone top slab, like so. For our next row here, we're gonna go and place down a black concrete block on top of this one. And we wanna go and then go back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Polished inside blocks back, followed by a polished inside top slab on the very last block like that sticking out on the end there. With that done, again, go up to the front here. We're going to do the same thing we did over there. So polished inside block, followed by a black concrete block, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Polished inside blocks back like so. And we're going to take our smooth stone blocks, place down 1, 2, and this smooth stone top slab like that on the end there. Now, once we have that all done there, we're going to go and place down uh, two polished andesite top slabs, which are going to be on the front here. So coming off of the fourth polished andesite block, we're going to place down two top slabs, then one, two, and three um, andesite, or sorry, four andesite full blocks. And then we want to go and switch to our uh, smooth stone slabs here. So we're going to place down a row of three of smooth stone slabs back like that. Our next row, uh, we're going to place down one, two, three polished andesite top slabs, two polished andesite full blocks, and air polished andesite top slab, and then we want to go and place down again a row of three of smooth stone top slabs like so. Our next row here is going to be a row of uh, polished andesite top slabs, so one, two, three, three, four, five, six, and then again, three smooth stone top slabs, and we want to go and repeat the same row one more time. So, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, top slabs there, and one, two, three smooth stone top slabs like so. Now, once we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and have an indent from the front here. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five polished DNA blocks, and then two smooth stone slabs, and we're going to go and repeat the same row one more time. So, one, two, three, four, five top slabs, polished andesite, and two smooth stone slabs. Uh, our next two rows here are going to be one, two, three, four, five polished andesite top slabs, and then one smooth stone slab, 
and then again one two three four five polish the inside top slabs and one smooth stone slab now once we get to this section here we're gonna be going ahead and getting into the engine bit again so this engine here is a tad bit different um, than our uh, previous ones or the, the, the inner, inner one there a little bit so for this one we want to go ahead and start off by placing down a black concrete block which is going to go basically on top of this slab right here and go ahead and start on the inner side here we're going to place down a upside down and polished inside stair followed by one stair come off of it like so we then want to go ahead and go back from that stair one and two block two more stairs so you have a row of four here and then we're going to place down a polished inside block now come off this block we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull and we can go and do the same thing over here on this side as well and we can fill the center in here with three polished andesite blocks and also between these stairs here we're going to place down a polished andesite slab like so now once we have that done uh, we want to go ahead and go back from our blocks here so we're going to place down an additional polished andesite block two upside down stairs and two top slabs so one more polished DSA block back, so we're just going to make this a row of three here, and then two upside down stairs, coming off both sides here, two top slabs, and we want to go ahead and fill in the space in the middle between the stairs and the slabs with polished DSA full blocks, and we can go ahead and place down a um, additional two slabs coming off this full block. So we're going to go ahead and kind of indent this, so we're going to stop at these two top slabs, so we're going to have one full block right here, and then we're going to place down one and two top slabs back. And we're going to go and follow that up by placing down a iron trap door. Come off that top side like that on the end there. And uh, once that's all finished there, that's pretty much it for this layer. Just double checking to make sure I didn't miss anything. And everything does appear to be good for the um, fuselage. So, yeah, pretty much with that, that's all we need to do there for uh, this layer. And again, here's a bit of an overview of what it looks like. You're going to take what we do over there on the right side, flip over to the left side like we've been doing. And this is what you should have. So again, we're starting to see some shaping going on here. We have kind of like the basic outlines there for uh, basically our four engines and um, all that stuff. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, uh, layer number five. Before we go ahead and move into layer five, we're going to make one quick adjustment to our inner engines. Uh, this here, we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and placing down the andesite slab here in the center. And these full blocks are actually going to be upside down stairs like so. And they're going to be positioned like that on both sides so this right here is what the front of the engine should look like so make sure you do apply that to both sides my apologies on uh, that uh, but just go ahead and make sure you make those corrections and once you do everything will be pretty much good to go for that um, anyways that right there is it for that layer let's go ahead and now move on to layer five all right guys going ahead and moving into our next layer we have layer number five for layer five to go ahead and get started with here we're going to go to the front of um, front here of the aircraft we're going to place down a light gray sting west full block that's gonna be on this light gray sting west pane, followed by a stone bun coming off the light gray sting west pane like that toward the front there. We then want to go ahead and go back from this light gray sting west block one more block, and we're going to then place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five black concrete blocks to kind of fill that inside section in here that is visible from the outside. Um, anyways, with that done, we're going to then skip our way back here to the um, rear of the aircraft, and we're going to go ahead and place down a polished inside block on top of this iron trap door followed by two, three, so you have a row of three of polished inside blocks on those three iron trap doors. We're going to go ahead and then place down a black concrete block coming off the last one, and then an air brick upside down stair on the bottom of this black concrete block. We're going to place down a stone button also. And that right there is going to basically do it there for the center line of the aircraft, and we're going to go ahead and start working our way out to the sides. Now for the sides here, we're going to start off by placing down a light gray stained glass pane next to this full block up here in the front, followed by a light gray stained glass full block, and then one, two, three, four, and five black concrete blocks like that, closing that cockpit area off. We then want to place down one, two, andesite walls, and then we're going to go and take our polished andesite blocks, and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, and thirty-one polished andesite blocks back, followed by a light gray stained glass block, and coming off or the light gray stained glass block, we're going to place down a polished andesite block. Now we want to go and go to the to the light gray stainless block, we're going to place down one more that comes out to the side, and then a light gray stainless paint on both sides of that block. On the inside here, we can go and close that window off if we're not doing an interior by placing on a black concrete block like that to close that space off. Once that's done, we're going to go and take our quartz slabs here. We're going to go and place down a row two of smooth quartz slabs, followed by a smooth quartz 
upside down stair facing this direction and then coming off that stair we're gonna place down a blue concrete block and then another smooth quartz upside down stair like so and actually that's going to be a smooth quartz block there um between the two stairs and then come off this upside down stair we're gonna place down there smooth quartz um full block and then a direct wall after that direct wall we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one two and three and decide walls coming off of it we then want to take our blue concrete we're going to place down one two three blue concrete on the previous three blocks and then we're going to place down a row of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen and fifteen polish the inside blocks back we're going to go ahead and double check count here and it is fifteen blocks on the very end here we're going to, go to place down two upside down polished andesite stairs and a polished andesite upside down corner stair there and then we want to go and then place down a skeleton school on both sides of this narrow brick um, stair like that for the rear there. We also want to go ahead and go to the till and on our fourth or sorry third polished andesite block from last so one two three we're going to place down one two three four iron trap doors on the side there and then one two coming off the middle two ones like that and those are going to be the start there for our horizontal stabilizers which we'll get to um, start to get into into uh, the next layer. Anyways, for with that all done, let's go ahead and uh, continue on with the aircraft. So, for us to go ahead and continue on here, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going to the top section of the wings here. Now we're going to place down an iron trap door, which is going to go ahead and go on top of this polished dance full block, and then back from it, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four polished dance slabs, and then another two iron trap doors after that like so. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down four polished andesite slabs come off those four. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of five, followed by a second row of five, and then a third row of five. So you have a design that looks like this here so far. With uh, that done, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, like that going back. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and start to get into our engines. So for our engines here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick wall on top of these two polished andesite upside down stairs and then a polished andesite block here um, in the middle. Coming off that polished andesite block, we're going to place down one more block that goes toward the front there and we want to go ahead and then place down a narrow brick wall coming off of it like so there for the tip there. After that, we're going to take our black concrete, we're going to place down a row of three across and on the sides here, we're going to place down a light gray banner on both sides. After that's complete, we want to go ahead and then take our polished andesite blocks and we're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a second row of three, a third row, a fourth row, a fifth row, and a sixth row of three going across like that. And we really only need to put banners on this front one, but you can if you want to keep a little bit more uh, kind of symmetry to the design, run gray banners along these blocks as well. You don't really have to, you only need to really cover up the black concrete there. Um, we also want to go ahead and place down a banner on both sides of these stone brick walls as well. Anyways, after that's done, going ahead and moving back here to this section, we're going to place down two polished andesite blocks here in the middle. And to the sides here, we're going to place down a polished andesite stair on both sides of the first block, and then come off the stair and place down a polished andesite corner stair. We're going to place down a polished andesite stair, come off this block like so slab to both sides of the stair and then one and two slabs back and we're going to then take our iron trap doors and place down one and two iron trap doors back from those two slabs. Now with that out of the way we're going to go ahead and return back to our slab placements here. We're going to go ahead and do a row of one two three four five uh, blocks back sorry actually no a yeah row of five or sorry, row six back and then a smooth stone slab. So just like that. And we're going to go ahead and repeat that same row one more time. So just like that going back. And we're also going to go ahead and place down a stone slab in this gap right here as well. So it should look something like that. We're going to go ahead and then do another row five of polished andesite slabs. Going across here and then another smooth stone slab just like that. And it's going to be one more back, so you have a row two there. Once we have that done, we're going to place down two slabs in the front here, followed by three full blocks, a slab, and then two smooth stone slabs back. 
And then our next row here, we're going to place down one slab from the front here. Or sorry, one slab that's going to be next to this one here. Just like that. And we're going to then place down a row of five of full blocks back. Followed by a row of three of stone slabs back. Like that. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone slab coming off this one. Stone or a full block, one, two, three, four blocks back, and we're gonna go and go five actually. So you have a total of six here, and then we want to go then place down two smooth stone slabs back, just like that for the wing there. Going ahead and continuing on, uh, we're gonna go ahead and place down two polished inside stairs coming off this full block here. So two stairs like that to the side. We then want to go ahead and go back from each one of these stairs, five polished inside blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're gonna go then take our stone slabs, and we want to go and place down two stone slabs going back from each one of these polished andesite full blocks, like that. All right, guys. So once we get to this point here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go up to our front engines here. We're gonna go and place down a black concrete block on top of this one, and then one block out to both sides. Like we did for the engine there, we're going to go and place down a andesite slab here, and then an upside down andesite stair to both sides, like so. After that, we're going to go and place down a row of three of full blocks going back. So, row three like this, followed by a second row of three, a third row, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, seven, eight, and nine. So we're going to have a total of nine rows of three of polished andesite, basically filling that whole space in like so. And then uh, on the back here, we're going to go and place down a row of one, two, three smooth stone full blocks and two smooth stone slabs, just like that, to go and finish that off. Now, once that's done, we want to go ahead and then place down a polished andesite slab, which is going to be coming off of this fourth polished andesite block back. And we're going to go then place down a polished andesite full block here, followed by a second one to the side. We then want to go ahead and kind of go toward the rear here and back or and out to the side by one. So it's going to kind of form an angle like this, and it's going to be a row of three. We're going to go and then go at an angle from this one, place down two, an angle from this one back toward the fuselage, and we're place down two of these um, polished and set full blocks like so. Now, uh, we want to go and then basically bring this row one, two, three, all the way to connect up, so you have a row of five here, and we're going to go ahead and fill this whole space in with polished and set full blocks. Now, once that's all done there, uh, we want to go ahead and they then take our smooth stone slabs and we're just going to place down one and two smooth stone slab full blocks out to the side there like so. Now, from this point, we're going to go ahead and go from this uh, full block here. We're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four top slabs to the side. This row here, one, two top slabs and then one, two, three iron trap doors. From this block here, one, two, three, four, uh, four and five top slabs. This row right here, one, two, three, four, um, five, and six top slabs. We're gonna go and then do a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven top slabs out to the side. And then for this section here, we're gonna go and place down uh, one, two, three, four, and five stone top slabs, followed by one, two, three, four polished andesite top slabs. And then for our very outer row here, we're going to take our top slabs, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven smooth stone top slabs, we're going to go and switch to stone brick slabs, and we're going to go and place down one and two stone brick top slabs like that for the end there. And that right there is going to pretty much do it for this layer. Uh, probably our more difficult layer just with all the um, shaping we have going on for the wing there. But um, once, after this layer, we're pretty much good to go with the wings. Uh, we do have a little bit to do for the next layer, but really it isn't anything too complicated. So uh, that right there is the hardest part of the wings. And once you get that done, it's pretty much the hardest part of the tutorial is basically just the wings. So. Uh, with that, that's it for that. Let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number six. Also, one thing I want to mention also is that um, you do put the letters on the side of the aircraft at this point. Um, basically, you're going to start on your third polished andesite 
block and basically go back from it. I'm not going to show you guys exactly how to do these these letters here. You can go ahead and kind of do your own letters if you want to. I'll link a tutorial down in the video description which will basically show two videos for how to make the numbers and letters so you can kind of put whatever you want on the side of this aircraft. Um, for example, I just have Fifi here. Um, you can kind of see how I did it so you can just kind of um, you know, copy it if you want to do the same thing. Um, but yeah, just know that you can do whatever you guys want uh, for these letters. Um, you can copy what I did there or you can make your own uh, name up for the side of the aircraft. So again, I'll be leaving those tutorials down in the description so you can refer to those um, to do the tutorial. Uh, but just so that we're on the uh, same page here and both sides are good to go for this model, we'll just go ahead and put Fifi on this side as well. So. Just like that, pretty simple lettering. I definitely recommend doing it. It gives your aircraft a nice little kind of feel to it, a little bit more personalized. Uh, you can try to make your own kind of like little, um, you know, pinup art or something like that on the side there using blocks and stuff or banners. Um, so there's a lot you can do with it. You can kind of make your own little thing there. Again, I'm not going to go into that too much further as I'll leave that up to you guys. Uh, but let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer six. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer. Be going ahead and moving into layer number six. For layer 6 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab or narrow brick stair on top of this like gray stained glass block. And we want to go ahead and then go back from it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks. And again, since we are closing off the cockpit here for this tutorial, we're going to place down a black concrete block here directly behind that like gray stained glass block. Uh, like so, to go ahead and kind of begin the closing off section for the back there. With that done, we're going to go, ahead and go back here to the tail of our aircraft. And the only thing we really need to do here. Um, is we do have a section to cover up, so uh, we're going to start off by placing down a polished anti block on top of this narrow brick up down stair, polished anti block behind it, and then two black concrete blocks, which will be visible kind of from the um, canopy over there. So we want to make sure that that, that space is closed off um, as well. And actually, we'll just go ahead and make it three, just to kind of close off a little bit better. So three blocks like that. Anyways, once that's done, we're going to go back up to the front and start working our way out to the sides. So for this, we're going to go ahead and go from the side of this like gray stained glass block, we're going to place down one of the side, and then one, two, three, four blocks back, and we're going to then place down a weird skeleton skull coming off it facing toward the front. We also want to place down a black concrete block at the end of this row, like that. Once that's done, we're going to then place down a weird skeleton skull on the side here, on top of that end of the side wall, and then one and two like gray stained glass panes back, and then one and two like gray stained glass blocks. On the sides of these two full blocks, we're going to place down two stone buttons, and then back from those blocks, we're going to place down one and two polished anti blocks followed by a light gray stainless full block like so. On the inside here of the block, or the glass, we're going to place down a black concrete block just to close that off again from the um, outside. We then want to take our polished anti blocks, we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 blocks back. When we get to this point here, uh, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on top of the fourth from last block. So just like that, above this like gray stained glass block here. We're going to go ahead and take our blue concrete, place it on a blue concrete block, a smooth quartz block, and then another blue concrete block. So just like that on both sides there. And then going back from it, we're going to place down a polished inside block like so. We then want to go ahead and go back from the polished inside block, one, two, three, four, and five andesite walls. And then on the inside here, we're going to go and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Uh, andesite blocks back, and then an andesite wall. And then come off the andesite wall, we're going to place down two end rods like so. Once we have that all complete there, we're going to go and place down a andesite wall, which is going to be or a andesite full block on top of this iron trap door, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4. Come off the side facing toward the front, we're going to place down a um, polished anesite slab, smooth stone uh, slab block, and a smooth stone slab right there. We're going to go and do the kind of almost the same thing out to the side here. So, polished anesite slab, four full blocks back, and then two smooth stone slabs back after that. Go into the side here, we're going to place down any slab, three blocks back, and then two smooth stone slabs. Uh, we're going to place down a slab coming off this one, three blocks back. Smooth stone slab, and then another slab back, so slab full block and then slab like that. And then our next row here, we're going to go do basically the same thing. So, slab, three blocks, smooth stone slab block, and then a slab like that going back. 
Now, once we get to this point right here, uh, we want to go and do a row of three, of full blocks back, and we're going to go and then do a smooth stone full block and then a top slab. Then our next row here is going to have a indent, so it's going to be a top slab followed by two full blocks back, smooth stone full block and then a top slab like so. And then after that, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a row of, or just one polished inside top slab here, come off that one, and then two top slabs going forward, so you have the full block, two top slabs, and then from that, we want to go ahead and take our stone top slabs and place down two back like that. Now, once we're at this point, we're going to go ahead and place down two polished inside top slabs, two stone top slabs. We're going to repeat that same thing two more times. So two polished inside top slabs, two stone top slabs, two polished inside top slabs, two stone top slabs. And then on the very tip here, uh, we're going to place down one top slab of polished inside and two smooth stone top slabs. We're going to go and then place down a row of three here of uh, polished inside top slabs and then one come off the center there like so. And after we have that done, we just very simply want to take skeleton spools and come off these uh, slabs here. We're going to place down the skeleton spools just like that. And once that's done, we do have our horizontal stabilizers uh, pretty much complete here for the for the build. Going ahead and moving into our wings. So for this, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and focus our attention here to our engines to begin with. So for our engines here, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished ansite stair on top of those stone brick walls and then a polished ansite top slab between the two stairs. We're going to go ahead and place down a black concrete block from black concrete block back from the slab and we're going to then take one, two, three, and four polished inside full blocks back. We're going to go then go to the side here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four polished inside stairs and one, two, three, four polished inside stairs like that. We're going to go then place down an inside slab here to both sides and then two slabs coming off the middle block followed by a iron trap door on both sides of this first slab like so. We're going to then go to our engines on the outer sides here and for this we're going to place down a stone brick wall on top of these two upside down stairs, a polished inside block in the middle in between them, one polished inside block toward the front and an air brick wall like that. We're going to then take our black concrete, place down a row of three black concrete across like that, followed by a row of three of polished andesite, a second row of three of polished andesite, a third, a fourth, and a fifth row of three. We want to go and then place down two blocks going down the center here, and then one polished andesite slab like that. And then we're going to place down a slab here to both sides of this first block, followed by an iron trap door come off those slabs like that going back. In addition, uh, we're going to go and grab our light gray banners. We're going to place down our light gray banners here on the side of the stone brick wall and the black concrete block, and also if you want, along these three blocks here. And over here, same thing. So just like that. There for the engine, and that's going to do it there for our um, outer engines, like so. And from this point here, we're going to go ahead and basically just do the wing tip and we'll pretty much be good to go for this. So also for our outer engines here, uh, we are going to go ahead and place down two more iron trap doors here and then one coming off this slab like that. So uh, just go ahead and make those little additions there, but once you have that done, you are good to go for your engines. Now going ahead and moving into our outer tips of the wings, and this right here is going to finish off the wings, so um, really excited about that. Uh, to get started with, we're going to go ahead and place down three iron trap doors there on top of those three and then one, two, three, slabs going back. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, slabs going back like that. So again, in total eleven, start that next to this iron trap door here. Our next row, we're going to start one more row forward, so polished inside slab, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13 and 14 slabs like that. Next row here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 uh, blocks like that. Next row we're going to have an indent. So start right here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And then for this we're going to go and take skeleton schools and we are going to wrap it around this uh, slab like so. And we're going to then grab our stone brick slabs and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stone brick slabs like that out to the side. They're along the side there like that. 
And that right there is going to basically do it there for the uh, tip of the wing. And uh, you can take that uh, same design, flip it over to your side, and you'll pretty much be good to go with that. Anyways, that right there is going to complete what we have there for uh, layer uh, number six. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer number seven. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer seven. For layer seven to go ahead and get started with here, we want to go ahead and start off with placing a dark liquid trap door on top of this light gray stained glass block here, followed by an Arabic slab and an Arabic stair after the slab. We then want to go ahead and place down a long row of polished andesite. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and just tell you how long it is. Uh, we're going to go and start off with a row of 29. So 29 polished andesite blocks called back for that narrow brick stair. After that row of 29, we're going to go ahead and place down a light gray stained glass block. And underneath that block, we do want to go ahead and place down a black concrete block just to close this off again from the outside um, as it will be visible. After that block there, we're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 polished andesite blocks back, followed by two black concrete blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 polished andesite blocks. Or sorry, actually, we're going to go and do 6 polished andesite blocks back. And then a black concrete block here. 2 light gray stained glass panes, or full blocks, sorry, come off the black concrete block there. A polished andesite slab. And then an iron trap door like that for the rear gunner seat. Once uh, that's done, we we're going to go ahead and then go up to the front and start working our way out to the sides. For this, we're going to go ahead and place down 2 stone buttons on these 2 like gray stainless full blocks, followed by two narrow brick slabs back, and then one, two, three polished andesite stairs, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine uh, polished andesite blocks back. I'm gonna go and double check our count here, and it is twenty-nine blocks back. We're gonna go then place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven polished andesite stairs and then one two three four five six seven eight um polished andesite slabs one two three four andesite walls polished andesite slab light gray stainless paint and then two stone pressure plates like that going toward the rear there to finish that off now we also want to go ahead and go to this light gray stainless block up here and we're going to place down a uh, stone pressure plate there on top of that block and we also want to place down some stone pressure plates on these blocks here to cover up the colors there the insignia a little bit better from the top and once uh, that's done we're going to go ahead and now move into our engines so for our engines here on the inner ones real simple we're just going to place down two iron trap doors like so so again real simple then for our outer engines here we're going to place down a polished andesite stair on top of these two stone brick walls and then a stone brick top slab there in between them we then want to go ahead and go back from this with a black concrete block there in the center polished andesite stair to both sides, an air polished andesite stair going back, and then a polished andesite full block there in the center. We're going to go ahead and go back from the full block with two more full blocks with two slabs to both sides, and we're going to then place down two slabs going back down the middle. And uh, once we have that all done there, that is going to basically do it for our outer engine. Just so we don't have to worry about it later, this is technically part of the next layer, uh, but just to go ahead and kind of knock it out of the way, we're going to go ahead and just place down two iron trap doors on top of those two blocks there. So uh, that right there will complete your outer engine. So we have our engines pretty much complete and good to go. So we won't have to worry about these for basically until we do the, the propellers. So that right there is gonna do it there for layer seven. And um, as you can see, we pretty much have the fuselage enclosed, which is cool. And uh, we're gonna basically just start working on the top details for the fuselage and start getting into the tail. So with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number eight. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer 8. For layer 8 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to our third uh, polished andesite block up on top here. We're going to place down a, a, a case wood button. After that, we're going to place down a polished andesite stair, polished andesite full block, and a polished andesite stair. Coming off the stair, we're going to place down a fence gate, and we're going to have it open up toward the stair like so. On the sides of the fence gate, we're going to go and place down dark liquid signs, like this, followed by skeleton skulls on the sides of these stairs and then a andesite wall like that to both sides of this full block. Once um, that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a narrow brick fence post in this slot right here. Now we're going to go ahead and then skip a uh, space and we're going to go ahead and jump into this section right here. Now for this section, uh, there actually should be a light gray stainless block in the fuselage like that. So we do want to break a hole in there. Again, if we're having this closed off, then we will place down a black concrete block 
like so, and then a like racing was block, and they're gonna have full block like so. We're gonna go and surround the full block with um, dragon schools, and we're gonna have it so that the heads are facing toward the inside there like so. And that's gonna kind of create this little bubble on top here. We're gonna go and then skip an airspace, place down an air brick upside down stair on both sides of the front and back of the stair. We're gonna place down wither skeleton schools, and then dark liquid sign here at the side of the um, the side of the stair. After this, going back from the Wither Skeleton School, we're going to skip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 spaces. And we should get back to basically this, like race thing. was full block, we're going to place down a full block on top of that. And just like we did for the front there, we're going to surround the four sides with the Dragon Schools, like so. We're going to go and then skip a space from this Dragon Hole School here. We're going to place down a Polished Anside Stair, Polished Anside Full Block. A narrow polished downside stair, dark oak wood fence gate opened up toward the stair, and a fence gate, or and then a dark oak wood sign on both sides of the fence gate. We also want to place down a skeleton skull on both sides of the stairs and a anisite wall on both sides of that polished downside block. From this, we're going to go ahead and skip a space from the fence gate. We're going to place down two polished downside slabs, polished downside stair, three polished downside full blocks, two black concrete blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and six polished downside blocks, and then a row three like gray stained glass full blocks. We're gonna go ahead and go to the row three like gray stained glass full blocks. We're gonna place down a row of three like gray stained glass panes there along the sides, and then one, two, three, and the side walls going forward like so. And that right there will basically wrap up the tail section there. And with that, that is going to basically wrap up this layer. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. Everything looks pretty much good to go. So uh, we'll call that layer good there. And from this point here, we're going to basically move into our final layers, which will basically be involving building this, the, the whole tail here, and then getting our cables running and our propellers. So uh, we'll be moving into our final processes of the build, but basically the fuselage here of the aircraft is pretty much completely done. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. Alright guys, so moving into our final layers, we have layers 9 through 17. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go directly back to the tail. Now for this, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a polished anisite slab, which is going to go ahead and go on top of this full block right here. We're going to go ahead and then place down a narrow brick stair back from it, and then a black concrete block. We're going to go ahead and then place down two polished anisite blocks up like so. We're going to go ahead and then do one, two, three polished anisite blocks up, and then an anisite wall. We're going to go ahead and then do one, two, three, four and five polished anisite blocks up, and then another anisite wall. When we get to this section here, we're going to place down a polished anisite block, two white concrete blocks, one, two, three black concrete blocks, a polished anisite block, and then an anisite wall. Our next uh, column over, we're going to place down a polished anisite block, followed by one and two black concrete blocks, then one, two white concrete blocks, black concrete block, a anisite wall, and on both sides of this andesite wall, we're going to place down one more wall, like so. And we also want to do the same thing down here on this black concrete block. We're going to place down an andesite wall to both sides of that as well. Then on top of this uh, andesite wall here, we're going to place down a polished andesite block. And then a uh, polished andesite slab on the very top there. After that's done, we're going to place down a smooth stone block right here with a uh, stone button sorry, stone button on both sides of that block. And we do have the smooth stone like full blocks here. Um, so we are gonna choose those over the slabs um, if you do have access to them. And we wanna go then place down a black concrete block up, two stone buttons to both sides, a narrow black concrete block up with an end rod coming off these two walls. We're gonna go and then place down a white concrete block. Again, a stone button on both sides, a black concrete block. Again, a stone button to both sides. A white concrete block, stone button to both sides, and then we're going to place down our smooth stone block like so. And rods coming off those two walls there. Another smooth stone block up on top here. Again, stone button to both sides here. And then a polished anisite block for the very top there. So, like this so far is what we should have. Uh, we're going to go to our next row, or next column, I should say. Smooth stone block, stone buttons to both sides. Two black concrete blocks up, and then on the second one here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull to both sides. Two white concrete blocks up, black concrete block, and then a smooth stone block with a skeleton skull to both sides. 
an air smooth stone block going up with a stone button on both sides of it and then a polished uh, anisite slab there on the very top. Our next column here, smooth stone block here, followed by a stone button on both sides. We're gonna go then take our black concrete, we're gonna go, or sorry, white concrete, we're gonna go up uh, two, and then one, two, three, black concrete up, followed by a smooth stone block, and then the site wall. We're gonna go and then go down to this section here, we're gonna place down two andesite, or sorry, two uh, smooth stone blocks going up like so. We're going to go then place down a skeleton skull at a slight angle here on top of these two light gray stainless panes. So just like that is the angle you want. And then we're going to go ahead and go from this up to andesite walls like so. We then can go ahead and grab ourselves some light gray banners. And to cover up this black here for the trailing edge, we're going to go ahead and place down two light gray banners there. Actually, three here, just to kind of cover it up and keep the color a little bit more consistent there on the back like, like so. And with that all done, uh, that's pretty much it for the tail. And we're going to go ahead and now move into basically doing our cabling here for the aircraft. Now, the cabling isn't too complicated at all. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but basically, all we really want to do here to start with is we're going to be going ahead and going to this slab up here. And we're going to be using barrier blocks for this. So uh, you will have to use your commands to get barrier blocks. I do believe every version has access to it, so you should be able to get barrier blocks. Um, if not, just look up how to. We're going to place down two, uh, sorry, three barrier blocks like that. We're going to drop down, do a row of five going forward. Drop down again, and a row of five going forward. We're going to drop down again, a row of five. And we're going to basically keep doing this until we get to the narrow brick fence post. So drop down there, row five, drop down again, row five going forward, drop down again, row five going forward, and then drop down again, a row five, and then we should be able to drop down again, and this should be a row three, and it should end on top of this narrow brick fence post. And all we want to do now is just go ahead and take stone buttons, and along the sides here of these barrier blocks, we're going to go ahead and run stone buttons all the way along the side here, going all the way up, like so. And it doesn't matter which side you put the buttons on, I'm just putting them here on the right side. But uh, you could put them on the left side as well. It uh, doesn't really matter too much. Um, but yeah, we're going to place our buttons like that and we're going to create a nice line there for basically the cable that runs from basically the front of the fuselage to the tail. Now basically the last thing we have left for us to do now is to go ahead and do our propellers. And our propellers here are super simple. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do one of them because you know, I really think you really need to do one. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to be going ahead and go into this section. Now we want to go ahead and go from this polished anisite block and we're going to go ahead and basically build a narrow brick wall um, basically out to the sides there like that. We're going to go ahead and then go up from these walls and out to the sides with uh, two narrow brick full blocks and then a end stone uh, brick wall. I like down the end. And we're just going to do the same thing here on all for all four blades. You can do something different if you do prefer, um, but this is kind of the better design, at least I found, uh, for what we're trying to accomplish here. And you're going to basically just take that down to both sides like that, and you basically have your props done. And you'll just want to take the same thing and do it for each one of your engines, and you'll have all four engines basically done and good to go. And with that, that will complete the in-flight version for my new B-29 Super Fortress um, bomber. Um, looks really good really really happy with the way it came out definitely a big improvement over the last one um, but we're gonna go now move into the landing gear for those of you guys that do want to build the landed version of this aircraft we will have that available for you guys um, so with that let's go and move into the landed version and um, all that all right guys so going ahead and moving into putting the landing gear on so for the landing gear we're gonna be going ahead and starting off with our front um, gear and for this real simple we're gonna go ahead and go down to this bottom section and it's kind of made easy for us. Basically, this entire red line right here, we're just going to go ahead and basically delete. Um, so we're going to delete all the blocks that kind of correspond with it. And it's going to leave this nice space nice and open for us. Now, once we have that done, we're going to place down a stone brick wall in between these stairs here. And we want to go ahead and then place down a row of quartz slabs going back from it. So we'll take our smooth quartz slabs. And we're going to go ahead and basically place down one, two, three, four blocks. And we also want to fill in the space... Um, but we can't really fill in the space above the stone brick wall. Best way to kind of get into there is to go ahead and go in for the top here 
and place some kind of carpet uh, on top here just to close this area off because you do not want this uh, visible from the inside if you are doing an interior um, so we'll just kind of place a block right there and kind of close that space off or um, if you have your black concrete there you're having your black concrete there would be fine you can swap out the block above there if a quartz block um, something like that uh, basically you just want that area covered up anyways we're going to drop down from this with a diorite wall and we're going to then grab our smooth quartz stair so right here and we're going to place nice smooth quartz upside down stair and then coming off the face of the stair or face of the stair sorry we're going to place down a skeleton skull and we want to go and then place down a lever that goes back from it like so. Now, uh, off that lever, we're going to go and place down a skeleton skull coming off this andesite wall like so. On the bottom of this stair, we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate like so. And then come off this fence gate, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair like this to both sides. And then coming off these stairs, we're going to place down two stairs going forward. And then on the bottom of these stairs, we're going to place down two stairs back to back like so. And it's going to be the same thing here. For, the, for both sides there and that's going to kind of create the wheel right there. Now once that's done we're going to go and then place down uh, two polished andesite top slabs on the bottom of these two stairs and we want to go and then take our polished andesite stair, upside down stairs and place down one two and then we're going to delete this um, iron trap door and we're going to place down a stair right there. And same thing over here one two three stairs and then one two and three uh, top slabs. Now, with this um, wheel design, you do have the option of doing a banner wheel, which kind of creates a little bit more detail for the wheel. I think kind of improves it a little bit. Up to you guys, because it's kind of something that's hit or miss. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, but to go ahead and make these banner wheels, super simple. Uh, we're going to go and go into our loom, and we're going to need two black banners, uh, two pieces of white dye, and four pieces of black dye. And all we need to do is go into our loom. We're going to take our first banner. We're going to do a white line that's going to be on the left side. And then for our other banner, we're going to do a white line that's on the right side. We're going to put each one of these banners back into the loom. And we're going to go ahead and select the bottom left box like this. And then the top left. That's going to create our first wheel. And then we're going to do basically the bottom right for this line with the rope on the right side. And then the top right like that. Real simple. And we just want to place them down here on these narrow brick stairs like so. Kind of adds a little bit more shape, a little bit more... Uh, you know detail to the wheel again completely optional um, for you guys if you do want to include it cool if not no worries uh, but that's going to basically do it for our front wheels there and let's go ahead and move into our back ones and lastly for the landing gear we'll be going ahead and moving on to the rear wheels so for the rear wheels here we'll be going ahead and going to the bottom here of the inside engines now we're going to go to this section here with the stair we're going to go and delete this row across followed by this row of three across these three blocks right here and this top side right here we're going to go and then replace this full block in this space right here with a quartz block we're going to leave these two blocks polished and say or sorry my bad we're going to change these to diorite walls and we want to go and then replace these three rows right here with quartz slabs so we're going to basically just fill in the space like so now we want to go and then go down from this quartz full block with two diorite walls we're going to then place down a stone brick wall and then a smooth quartz block or just a quartz full block here with a stone button on both ends. Coming off this quartz block to both sides, we're going to place down a pillar of quartz, blocks of coal around the pillared quartz blocks or block. And then in the corners here between the full blocks, we're going to place down an air brick stairs. So just to kind of round out the wheel. And then we want to go ahead and also place down a stone button on the uh, sides of those pillared blocks. Once we have that done, we're going to then go to this diorite um, wall right here. We're going to place down a quartz. Um, we're just going to place down a quartz slab like that, and we're going to then switch to a quartz um, top slab here, and then a quartz full block like that. And that right there will basically form up that section there. And once we have that all done, we're going to then take our inset walls. We're going to place down a row of four on those four polished inset blocks like that. We're going to go then drop down with four polished andesite full blocks. And we want to go then place down a row of four of polished andesite upside down stairs. So one, two, three, four on the bottom. And then over here to this side, we're just going to go ahead and swap out these three slabs for upside down polished andesite stairs. And also place down a upside down stair right there in that section like that. 
And that right there is going to basically complete for the rear wheel design. You're going to go ahead and take that same design and copy it over to the air side. And you'll have basically your landing gear here complete for the build. Anyways, that right there is going to complete my design here for the B-29 Super Fortress uh, Strategic Bomber. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do want to use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for this being from a silent build. Link to my channel or this video if this does appear any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use for projects you guys are working on. And that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been great to it for, and I'll see you guys next time.